Hey guys, today's video is going to be really quick, easy, a simple video. Um, I've gotten this video requested by a lot of people. Um, I'm, in today's video, I'm going to be installing Kali Linux using VirtualBox. Um, concerning this video, I've gotten a lot of people uh, that have messaged me and talked about how they're getting a lot of errors. And personally, I have gotten errors too, but I'm going to be doing showing you how to do this without any errors at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is install VirtualBox. I'm just going to go here. And I am going to just click on Windows, Oops. and then I get VirtualBox, it's pretty fast, and I click on that, it's going to try and install, and click. Just follow the instruction process. So this might take several minutes, so I'm going to actually cut to when it's done. Now that it's done, I'm going to just start it. I can open that up. It doesn't really matter. Um, and we see here that I got VirtualBox. I'm actually going to remove my old Kali. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to get the Kali Linux uh, VirtualBox install. So I'm just going to search up Kali download. I'm going to go to official Kali Linux downloads. A lot of people get this 64-bit installer, but I'm not actually going to use that. I'm going to go straight down to the Kali Linux 64-bit virtual box. And you click on this offensive security VM download page. And once we're here, I'm going to scroll down to the Kali Linux virtual box images. And depending on whether you have a 64-bit computer or a 32-bit computer, you're going to click accordingly. Um, I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm just going to click on that. And we can see that it's 3.2 gigabytes, so that's going to take quite a bit of time to install. So I'll be back whenever it's done. Now that it's finished downloading, I'm going to go to my downloads folder and open up the Kali VirtualBox. Uh, I'm going to click import. I'm going to click agree. And while this is installing, I'm going to talk about why I use Kali. So Kali is just a operating system with hacking tools and software already installed, pre-installed on there. I could do the same thing that I'm doing on Kali on my regular Windows box, but I use Kali because it's already there. Why well, I have to install all the software again onto my Windows and then use it when there's already Kali. So anyway, that's why I'm using it. I just want to let you guys know. Um, this might take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to be back whenever it's done. One thing I realized once um, Kali Linux finished uh, importing, I realized that I need to get the virtual box extension pack, so I'm just going to search up virtual box extension pack. And if we go to just Oracle VM virtual box downloads, we can scroll down and there will be the virtual box extension pack, and it's for all platforms. So I'm just going to download that really quick. Once it's finished in downloading, I can open it up, and I'm going to click install, scroll all the way down, click I agree. Yes, I want this app to make changes to my device, and it's installing the extension pack. So the extension pack was installed successfully. So now we could just go ahead and open up Kali Linux. And it should be starting up. So I'm just going to click enter for Kali G GNU Linux. Just, it's just booting up. Kali is starting. OK, 
Okay, and once you hear the username and password, once you download it like this, it's just standard, it's Kali, and then the password is Kali as well. So if I type that in and I click login, so there you go, you have Kali installed in your box. Once you're here, you can go to your settings and change the display, but I'm going to do that a little bit later. So thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity related videos and uh, check out cybershalom.org for hands-on cyber learning. Thank you.